personal best goldfish. Uh, it looks pretty good. I thought these were koi, but uh, they don't have any barbels. And that's how you can tell the difference between a goldfish and a koi. Nice colors. So just over a pound and 12 inches long. So I'm just catching him with a size 4 Aberdeen hook and a tiny bobber with a little piece of bread on the hook. Let's just take a piece of bread, got the hook here, and fold it on, make it tight, and then take off a bit that I don't need. I've got it about two feet below the bobber. Nice. Finally into one of these white goldfish. Hope I don't lose it. Oh yeah, look at that. Damn, swallowed the hook. It's pretty sweet. Seen, there's probably about no more than 10, I'd say, of these in here. There's a ton of the orange ones. Got this one on whole kernel corn. That one. It's a little busted up on that side. Another fish on. Other fish on.
So the first bite is pretty good. Um, the, fish, the fish texture is pretty soft. Pancake batter is awesome. But there's a lot of bones. They were supposed to fry out soft. I mean, maybe I could swallow them. And I did swallow one. But I don't think it's a... I don't think it's good to be swallowing bones. <laughs> So that was pretty good tasting, but I just uh, the main thing that I didn't like about it was all the bones. But I think if you like eating trout, this would be right up your alley. According to the recipe, all these small bones were supposed to be fried out, but uh, maybe I just didn't cook it long enough. It seemed like the batter was starting to burn, so I took it off. I think there are a lot more bones because it's a goldfish, and the r original recipe calls for a carp. And I think. From uh, what I remember of eating carp, there's not as many bones as there was from the goldfish. But the goldfish is pretty tasty. I don't think I'll eat it again because I don't really like eating bony fish.